Now, if the government thought you could just look at a person and tell their age, why do they issue ID cards in the first place, idiot? Right. Oh, see, you're not thinking with your head. You're thinking with your penis, probably. Or something else. <laughs> see, you seem like you don't give a damn, right? If the child had ID or not, right? Was vetted by her employer or not, right? To even work the job, right? <laughs> Or ain't supposed to be in there. She's 15 yet. Yeah. To do the job. <laughs> Specifically. She could run the cash register. Yes. yes. But not do the nails. Not do the nails. <laughs> You're not listening. Right. She's limited until she's 16 and really can start the apprenticeship program, which is when it begins, by the way. <laughs> and the job she can perform in that store. Right. Well, part of that, don't you understand? The nuts. <laughs> Am I talking to a rocket scientist here or the dumbest person who does not comprehend English? <laughs> Are you Vietnamese? Are you Asian of some sort? We have ID cards for a reason, fool. We cannot tell someone's age all the time, right? Dummy! <laughs> Are you these in your head or you're just <clears throat> living in some fantasy land yourself? <laughs> and the employer checks her ID. Not the client. <laughs> what do you think I'm telling you, fool? <laughs> Why do you think I'm telling you this? Trying to make it a joke <laughs> that you won't get. <laughs> and obviously you're not getting the point. <laughs> In Georgia, the age of consent is 16. So if she's 15, right? And working in a job and lies about her age to be, I don't know that, right? <laughs> Most girls don't lie to me that way. <laughs> or I'll be getting laid more, probably. <laughs> Dummy. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> See, that's the point. I'm not trying to get laid either. I'm trying to find a girlfriend. But I know you can have premarital sex. But if you have premarital sex with me, I'm trying to marry you. <laughs> like Moses said. <laughs> so you're not reading something there, right? The Christians have been ignoring that passage for the last 1,700 years since the Catholics took it over <laughs> and quit using the Old Testament blaming the Jews. Right? And their failure to see Jesus as their Messiah and crucified him. That's what they're doing there. And uh, Most so-called Christians... Blame the Jews for not receiving their own Messiah. And I'm just like, oh, we know he's a Messiah if you don't write. Type attitude, right? But you're not explaining it to them anymore like Paul tried to. Right? From the scriptures, you just gave up on them entirely, right? You're not reading it anymore at all yourselves. <laughs> not to your congregate. I know I grew up in the church, right? I went to Sunday school every morning. They never taught me the stuff I learned on my own, like Paul would learn on his own, right? He was probably around people who did the same thing to him, right? That's the problem, people. You got a whole book there. <laughs> if you're reading parts of it, you're not going to understand. <laughs> but if you read it all, you might can get a clue as to what's going on both in the old and the deep. The God of this Bible is trying to send us something to help us and redeem us back to it. Right. That's the whole premise of the story. Right. Now, I understand the Hindu religion is talking somewhat like that. But again, their God Vishnu or their God Krishna or whatever they want to call it. Right. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be the human avatar to try to save us from our mistakes and Shiva has an avatar too, but he's trying to trick us into destroying ourselves with him. That's kind of the point in that religion too. Right? Though they're both androgynous in nature. Right? That's something else we don't know about the angel. We can't see know, into the past like we got a, you know, television or something or a monitor. Right? Or cameras back then when we didn't, right? Now, time is linear, right? Even though Einstein's trying to, you know, come up with a time machine or whatever. Uh, 
Now, even he might be getting a little science fiction-y there. Come on, man. <laughs> I know. Well, the most something can do is loop the time back from a beginning point to an end, right? You know what that means, right? See, if you keep destroying it, and I can remake it, and I'm trying to buy the damnedest to get you not to destroy it, but you still want to destroy it, right? The planet you're living on, by the way. It's like you're in, in, in the ant farm with enough intelligence to blow yourself to hell, but you want to blow yourself to hell anyway, even though I'm trying to talk you out of it, right? Right. <laughs> exactly what I mean. Right. It's like you cannot comprehend that some females do not look as old as other females, and that's why they issue them ID cards so they can be asked their age or show a proof of age, right, in the first place. I keep telling you, your problem is if you worked her, you're the one who's supposed to vet her or make sure she's legally able to do the job, right? Not me, not me. I'm not her employer letting her work in the store, right? And if you're off by a year, you're illegally working her yourself. <laughs> you know? It's called a violation of charge of legal rights. It's not, it's not, probably not, but a fine or a slap on your wrist, but right. I know. <laughs> but again, you're not supposed to do it either, right? <laughs> to where the girl would be tempted to sleep with me, right? Herself. She's not supposed to approach a customer for sex if she's 37 again, but not 15, right? That's the difference, right? So you gotta prove I know something no man can know or they wouldn't issue out eats or right? <laughs> the age of a woman. No, no. I don't know. <laughs> There's a reason they do that too, fool. <laughs> right.